Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, creating MBOSS or DBOSS in Katia using text. So let's say you want to put the logo of your company on a part that you designed, right? So let's say you make these hex bolts and now you want to write the name of your company here on the top and then extrude it or do a cut extrude on it and uh, put your, the logo of your company on your part. Well, as you know, when you go to Katia into the sketch environment, there is no text command. In SOLIDWORKS, there is a text command, so you can create the text. There is the text command, it's like A, and you can type anything you want, and you can give it any fonts that you want, and then you can extrude, cut extrude, and so on. In the sketch environment, in Katia, there is no such thing. So if I want to write, let's say, the name of our university, ERAU here, then I have to use the profile tool, I have to use Espeline and so many other things, and then what? Let's say I create something like this simple thing, like this E, correct? So it is going to be time consuming, and at the end of the day, if you want to really write something nice, it takes you some time to make it anything nice with lots of uh, constraints and so on. So the fact that there is no text command in Katia, that's quite, um, I would say, bothersome. At least to me, that's the case. So is there any way to type a text and then extrude or cut extrude it? Yes, but not in the sketcher or part design. What you need to do is to go to the drafting environment. So here I go to new, create a drawing or drafting. And in the drafting environment, there is a text command that you can see here, this T. So when you click here and click there, you can type any text that you want. Let's say ERAU, right? And you can change the font size of it. You can make it bold font. You can do whatever you want to it. Right, let's say like this, correct? You can add the spaces and so on. So now, can I take this sketch into the part design? The answer is no, you cannot. Okay, so if I want to click on this uh, part of the sketch and say copy, and then go to my hex bolt, and then let's say here, go to sketch, right? and then say paste, you see it says it is not allowed to paste. So to do that, you need to do a little bit of kind of trick. And what is the trick? The trick is this. You are going to save this in a format called DXF. So you are going to say file, save as. Instead of saving it as .cat drawing, you save it as what? The uh, DXF right and you save it here good now if i go ahead and open that dxf file so i guess it was this one let's make sure yes it is going to be like in this format okay now, can I grab these, copy them into my sketch? Well, let's find out. So here, I select everything that I want, copy them, go to my hex bolt, here, go create a new sketch on this guy, and then say paste. Now here, it did not give me any error, it pasted it, but where is it? Well, the problem is it's not basically to the right scale, to the right location. So what you need is to grab this whole thing and first of all, bring it to the location that your part is. Correct? And then what? As you can see, these guys are way larger than your part, but it's not something you cannot fix. You can always what? You can always scale it up or down, right? So you can select these as your sketch elements. 
and go down to what? To the scaling, turn the duplicate mode off, choose a center of scaling. You can do it one by one if you want. And then let's say here I make it like 0.05, small number. So you see now it's a lot smaller and even if that is not still enough, you can what? you can make it even further smaller. So here, if I put this on the top of the hex bolt, you see it's still a little bit big, so I can further scale it down. And here, this 0.5 would work. So I OK that. And so now I brought it to the right location. I can move them in any order, any shape that I want. Correct. Let me move them both together. Same thing for A and U, right? Get out, and guess what? Now you got your sketch, and now you can what? You can extrude it like this, correct? Or you can what? Cut extrude it. So that's the way to get around the fact that there is no text command in Sketcher in Katia. So, again, you take it to the drafting, save it as DXF, open it. Now you can copy the sketch of DXF into part design and do whatever you want to it. So hopefully this was useful to you, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.